from a bygone age to a glimpse of the future. A preview through the performance of this model monoplane of an age of silent power. Of the tomorrow when practically every form of transport will be driven by electricity stored in tiny silver zinc batteries. So now let's introduce Colonel H.J. Taplin, who designed and built this prototype, probably the first of its kind. Colonel Taplin, a pioneer airman and pilot of World War I, was already well known for his petrol and diesel engine models before he put into practice his theories on electric power. Weighing only two pounds, the silver zinc battery produces one third of a horsepower for ten minutes. Although obviously, the larger the battery, the more power and endurance. And because there's no combustion, the motor runs almost silently. And so the Radio Queen, so named because it's radio controlled like all his models, takes off on another test flight. It flies, of course, like any well-designed model does. So now let's take a look at a more conventional aspect of Colonel Taplin's hobby, radio-controlled model speedboats. Now his son Michael assists him with the launching of Kittywake, one of many boats he has designed and built. The Kittywake, which has a 10cc overhead valve engine, reaches speeds of more than 12 knots and the four-channel radio which controls the rudder and engine can be used up to a mile away. Now watch it go. Notice to what fine limits these launches can be controlled. It's almost as though there was someone in there steering. Even more incredible when you think that talented engineers like Colonel Taplin build these craft for pleasure. And yet it is often ideas developed in models like these, the monoplane particularly, that give a lead to the industrial designers of today.